Yeah, recording in progress. Shot, show you the alien, this from again, eh? Passara Dulahagata Passi. Passuga Dinavala, Samadja, Madja, Samaraka, Mahapilibanda Vakiavuno, Varadi Katava, Varadikiri Matat, Mama Mea, Avastava Kurgan at a Kamati. A Varadi Katava Tamai, Ma, which from at Bak Labamin, Labagani Min Sitina, Ayakuya Kila. Avishuidala Jivitan Samugat Kale Vishrama Vatu Pramyak Vishuidala Achari Mahacharya Varunta Natibunu Athara Apata Himi Uge Hudek Vishuidala Arthasada Karamudin Vishramaya Medi Ikpar Labina Dimana Kamunak Boy Me Toratura Obage Watpat Prouti Ganavaka Sana Vichanisa Ekama Samaji Madhu. Here Pasakataba, did us Name was a repair. Janadi Pativarna Same, Gotabe Rajapaks Mata, when in Sakaskernu, Saubhagi Dakma Tula Antargata, Artika Petipati Pilla Sakaskirim Sanha, Tiren Pitupasika, Yam Mediat Pima Cream, Mata Avasta Labuna. Yet may a Matavadi washing to keep a tipati will at a bevin Anugata Vimisa. She do work, Missa. Even when Kissima Patila Biak, a peck shavin, Kaladiak, no he. Ma Adipati Dure, Vadabaragat Dinata Satia Kata de Katapam and a pera Yanadipati Lekam Achari, Pivijas and Mahata again. Mahabank Wadipati Rea Baragan Nai, Mahaveta Labun Ilima, Mata Mahat Vismia Ganadun Athera, Ekisiset Apexa Nokala Ilima Puna. Meet a perat, Ma Columbus Vidale, Pupul Patilis City, Pakavan Mehi, Leda Satara was ready, Mahabank Wadipati Padavia Baragan Ima, Magan Kanda Ilima. Ma Poutkalika, he to matter, Pratik Shepakala Matagai. Mavarakan la the illima, ma ekela no piligat peter, Yatat Piri saying, Vasara Katavat, Tima Padavia Dharmin, Pratipati Sadane Higi, Mada Udaukalalu Tan Peter, Avasha, Matavadi Sahayo here, Labadan Resekermo illimata, ma Avasane he ekanguna. A Pratipalia Cadia Tai, Maha Mahabanku Durea, Adipati Durea, Baragina, then at a devastar to keep to Kalia, Gata Gay Memakalia Tula, Ma Nivaradia Vishwasa Kula, Arthika, Mulia Pratipati Ramotula, Sri Lanka, Mahabanku, Kare Baria, Mehevi, Tetuka Latibeno. I am a Vitama Vishwasa Kalapai, Mematar Tanature Hidi. Kissima Tirnak, Magi, her de Shak Sakshet, Viruddu again and a half. Avanka Bave Eka Gratavaha, Mulia Vine, Ma Mehevu, Mulikam Gunang, Ma Nivaradia, which was a color, Tamat, which was a current. Was her hatter is Paka Vishuja Givite Hidi, Digatama Magi again, me Mehevu, Deshapan, Arctic Matavadia. Artika with Jack Nan Athra, that Danata Sitina, Sulutra, Pilsaku, Vishasakara. Mahabanku is it not Vishal who got Piris, Pilimadwa, Tat, him. Enisa, Emma Matavadian, Kriakrim, Mahabanku, Pahasu, Katu, Taknam, Noon Bower, Pasandhan Karanik, is you put some of it, Amanapi, Nan Noi. Yes, who was a Katat. Wasser Katavat, Mema Tanadura, Baragan, say Kalili Muda, Ea Baragatma, Wasser Dekatas and Kalyak, Mematanapre, Vadakat, Sita, Tirne Karagan Hiti, Labanama, say Magi Asuani Pandina, Vishrami Amatai. Eth, Pasugia Satyaku, Dina the Hayak Kotula, Sidu Sit Ridavana, Siduim. Mage Emma Vistamiam, Satihayakin Pamanik Mankala. 
मम लबन दाहत्रवणी लबन सती दाहत्रवणी अंगहरुवाद मेम तनुरी विश्रामयाम टपेक्षा कर्म भव उबट हा उबहर महजन आट जन्मताय मा उभा मता मेलेस मा विश्वा विश्राम श्रीलंका वे अति ताम वेदगत आ गौरवणीय तन तनुर हिम तनुर हि ला मट प्रवरी बुन भगति प्रधान मातु मसिट बलपोत्मी कॉविड दसांगत रैली महिला बलपैतवादु मनुषिक आयतनिक कारण तिमुना मे दुष्यता मैदे वडा यहापत प्रतिपल संधा कलयुत प्रतिपत्ति नष्टम जनत्मी मनसिक पीड़न पशुकल दिनगणन भोय वशेन्म मेलेस महाबैंक अधिपति तनुरा थेरली मगे हितवत हितांगवीनी आशीर्वाद जातंत्र मूल्यार मुदल अतिशय आकर्षणीय साहित विकल विधायक अध्यक्ष तनुर इदिरी वसर संधा बार गठ महाबैंक अधिपति तनुन मगे इली मैति भाव मसंधान कलियुत पशुगे दिन बल मातंत्र मूल्यार मुद्रट अनुभवाकोत्पत्ताधानुवेदास्यानपत्ट इंगियाबुनुसाबियुत मीट पेरा विश्राम अधिपति वरियस जातंत्र मूल्यार मुदले एक तनुर सतिशय आकर्षणीय प्रतिपत्तिशु मट मगे शास्त्रीय प्रयोजनवाद विवेक काल अपेक्षा महाबैंकोधिपति पदवीय धरमी पवस्तावक मा प्रकाश महिला संधान मगे वायसे आये विघन गु काल गेम अदा अभी अपगे रट पूर्ण संवर्धित दीनुमीन पवती न रट खुन करदाय भव मम दावत्म से दीनुमीन पवती न रट क्लेशनुन्मागनी मठ सिद्धुम ज्ञान सबवीम अप कनगाठ प्रयत्ने हौल करो भी मटाय मट अवश्य उने सदे हो अप पक्ष देश पालने कैपवी मकनति भाव विषय में संधा पहली प्रतिपत्ति राम वक कहला दीर्घ कालीन अनुगमन नौकरी में प्रश्न जब सरकट आसन पशु काल कुल वडात मैनवीन प्रत्यक्ष कर संवर्धन गिमावस्थावेटियन संधान कारण ज्ञान युवत तवा बहु देता नवती महाबैंक अधिपति दूर हेटिकलाको सेवे किरीमठ हा ऐ नदीम लभीमठा 
Katatha Janiata Seve Kirimatat Mata Avastava Sarsadun Atigaru Janadipati Gotabe Rajapaksam Katat Janadipati Lekam Achari Pibi Jasundra Mahatat Mama Rutatni Tava Palakarno Ma Mahabanku Adipati Dure Daru Kale Tula Tamat Mahitavat Bavek in Ma Samuka Kriakale Mudal Mandula Samajikan Ha Sieluma Mahabanku Niladari Niladari Nyan Ha Mahila Sipat Karane Rutat Nitavin Mudal Mandale Samajikan Hatiat Mudal Amatian Shehi Lekam Sajit Atigalamada Patala Samajikan Sanjiva Jawadin Samantha Kumar Singh Maturu Saha Achari Rani Jama Matinia Mahabankwe Ihela Karam Sema Mahabankwe Ihela Kalamana Karitwe Sieluma Nyoj Adipati Varun Ha Sahakara Adipati Varun Adjaksha Kavarun Ha Adikari Varun Ma Sutuanto Matakan Sieludena Namin Sandahan Kirima to Mahila Kalea Tatat Mahai Tama Kitwen Kriakala Kipa Derungi Nam Mehi Sandahan Kalei to my Adipati Lekam Erandi Erandi Lenege Sandhana Niladari Nuan Gamagi Jesta Sahakar Lekam Ashadi Edi Singer Saha Sahakar Lekam Asela Ekanaika Yanu Meki with the Nai Unge Udao Nuan Ma Kaladakiri Matama Kese Samatun at the Stagan Mutama Vitamatarava Adipati Karyale Sevekal Sir Denat Ria Duruha Arakshakatana to Vela Sevekalayat Ma Stuti Pura Kova Sipatkano Eva Gamer Memaduskar Kalehi Ma Samago City Min Ma Rakabalaga Girida Girinda Kalyanit Diania Ireshat Mila Sipat Karikiri Makalay to mine Merata sit namage mini pirian tidena ma pida wat patu avastavani mage sitate mahat asla sila kuna. The same atin bear of a sitina. Arsha rajit putun dedena onge binda varun sa darwan. Nitara ma amatamin matalabadun manasika sayoge. Mamatakran Yatishin, Atisha Dari. Abanku Artigan Nyaha Parichat, Mulia Nyaha Parichat, Tilibana, Bishop Jale Tulanola, then Danumha Adakim Sambaria, Matalabadu, Labaduna. Egana Pasukale, he Yam Rachanavak, Grim at Hagi the Thoth, here Reojanot Panatapula. A same Mahabanku Samaj Minis Sabahat Minis Hasirimat Pilibanova Matavanva at the Adam Mes Yal at Vada who ate Taramatum Vadega Takitan Tirnagana Vividan show letter A Karamuna Kativa Ekamutu a Kriakal has now meet our da Yahapat Pratipala at the Haki Bower Sandahan Kirima Watin. Mahagam Mahabank we have the Natamat Aluten Adipati Kari Bahari Sia Bahari at a Ganna Ayatat Mama Suapatum Ekaramin Mima Keti Vishrame Ami Katawa Nathani Navasan Karnoa. Let me speak to you, translate the same thing into English. For those who are more familiar with that language. I assume duties as the 15th governor of the Central Bank of Sri Lanka on 24th December 2019. This was 12 years since my retirement from University of Columbia. Retirement from university in 2007 was contrary to his speculations in social media and newspapers recently. It was not a 
not with a pension in the traditional sense of the term, but merely with the lump sum provident fund benefit. During the period of preparation for the 2019 presidential election, when Vistas of Prosperity was being prepared, I had the present experience of participation in the behind the scene work to draw up the economic policy framework for that document. It was an involvement which was merely due to my ideological commitment to the policy program that was being developed, the alternative policy program. There was absolutely no expectation of post-election benefits in my participation in this activity. About two weeks before I assumed duties as governor, there was totally unexpectedly an inquiry from Dr. P.B. Jason, the secretary to His Excellency the President, whether I could take over the responsibilities of central bank governor. This was totally unexpected and came as a complete surprise. On an earlier occasion in 2004, when I was still the Vice Chancellor of the University of Colombo, this same request came to me. And I remember gratefully declining it at the time for personal reasons. When the request made in 2019 also was not accepted by me readily, I was asked to at least take it over for a year and provide the ideological support at policymaking level for a government which I also helped to set up. Eventually, I agreed to take over this responsibility. This is how I have assumed duties as governor, Central Bank of Sri Lanka, and spent nearly two years in that position. During this period, I have conscientiously I have acted conscientiously to guide and administer and give leadership to the central bank. Remaining within the economic and monetary policy framework, which I believe to be correct. As I have believed and acted all my life in the central bank also, I have not taken any decision against my conscience. The fundamental moral principles which guided me have been honesty, integrity, and financial discipline. There is a political economy ideology which I believe and continue to believe to be correct. This has conscientiously guided my teaching in 45 years of my university academic life. I realized that only a minority of economists nowadays among us subscribe to these political economic perspectives. Among the large numbers of educated professionals in the central bank also, conditions are not any different. I must mention here, obviously not with any intention of hurting the feelings of anybody, that getting things done according to my policy perspective was not indeed an easy task. Nevertheless, I have assumed duties in this position in response to a request made of me to accept res responsibilities for at least one year. <clears throat> and I have now been in this position for nearly two years. My intention and plan was to tender my resignation paper on my 80th birthday coming next month. The unpleasant events over the last week or 10 days have shortened my intended service period by about six weeks. I am addressing you now to inform you and through you, the general public, that I am planning to retire after Tuesday, 14 September. I am stepping down this way from one of the most important and respected positions in this country. I have worked tirelessly day and night to 
conscientiously perform my duties and functions with the greatest degree of diligence. But because of certain natural and human factors beyond our control, all the intended results of these efforts could not be achieved all the time. The most common such factor that has affected our work and its results, of course, has been the several waves of COVID-19 starting from just three months of my assuming duties. There were, of course, various other human and institutional factors also responsible for difficulties to achieve best results. Thinking of these and contemplating correct, corrective measures to be taken, is indeed, uh, there were many days and nights I spent under stress. I do therefore think that my having to give up the governor position even under these not so perfect conditions is indeed a blessing in disguise. Among many others in my family and close friends, there is also my family doctor who said this. I have been offered the position of Sri Lanka's alternative executive director at the International Monetary Fund in Washington for one year when I leave this position. An offer which is extremely attractive in terms of remunerations and other conditions. So what some of you, my newspaper friends, and other journalists have published during the last week or so in news about the retiring central bank governor going to take up an IMF position was indeed correct. I have declined this attractive offer as this is against principles I cherish. I eagerly look for the leisure which I will get after this retirement to be usefully spent on academic writing which has been postponed many occasions. I feel like repeating here a statement I have made several times during the period of my short tenure as governor. At the time we studied, that must have been about 50, 60 years ago, we referred to our country as an undeveloped or a developing country. And we must be ashamed about ourselves for having to continue even today to call ourselves a developer. What I wanted was to become an active partner in the effort being taken to move out of this developing status. But over nearly the last two years, I have realized that our society or our system of party politics does not have systemic commitment for this object. Therefore, there is particularly the issue of the society not being able to agree on a clear policy framework and to stick to it for a long enough period of time. This is why we lag behind. And many countries after us are one after the other, overtaking us in the race to achieve development. I have many things to say about matters briefly noted above, but let me stop at this point and move on to the more pleasant task of acknowledgement of assistance received. Let me begin by paying gratitude to His Excellency, the President Gotabaya Rajapaksa and Secretary Dr. P. B. Jayasundra for giving me this opportunity to serve as central bank governor, even for a short period, and to gain experience myself and also to serve the country and its people. I mentioned with gratitude the monetary board members and the central bank officials who have worked with me during my tenure as governor. Is a sense of 
friendship and goodwill. The assistance received from members of the Monetary Board, Secretary to the Ministry of Finance, Mr. Sajit Artigal, appointed members, Mr. Sanjeeva Jawadhan, Mr. Samant Marsinger, and Dr. Mrs. Rani Gama. All the top management personnel, deputy governors and assistant governors, heads of departments, is gratefully acknowledged. I do not have the time here to mention all by name, but I would be remiss if I fail to mention a few by name. These are the governor's secretary, Mr. Randi Dianagi, protocol of Mr. Nguan Gamagi, senior assistant secretary, Ms. Ashadi Idrisinga, and assistant secretary, Mr. Asela Eknai, without whose assistance I would not have done what I did. In addition, everyone who served the governor's office, those who served as drivers, security officers, etc., etc., are mentioned here with a generous thank you. To conclude these acknowledgments, I must mention my wife, Kalyani, daughter, Iresha, who have looked after me during this difficult and trying period. The three granddaughters have indeed been stress releases. Let me also mention my two sons, Harsha and Rajit, and their families living overseas for constantly calling me and providing moral support. The central bank has taught me a great deal more than what I learned from universities about economic theory and practice, monetary theory and practice. If I could write a monograph on this subject, it will, I am sure, be extremely useful. In addition, the central bank society, the central bank society has taught great lessons about human nature and human behavior. Lessons equally, if not more, valuable than knowledge about economics and monetary subjects. I have also learned how great it would be be if decision makers join together to achieve one common target and work towards work together towards that target with commitment. Let me conclude my brief retirement speech by wishing good luck to all in the central bank and also to the new governor. Thank you very much for your patient hearing. I understand there will be also some questions. I'm here to answer.
can you hear me governor yeah yeah uh, uh, what is the reason for your retirement and uh, what are the main challenges that you have uh, uh, experienced you experienced during your short tenure uh, uh, have you been talking to somebody when i was talking uh, no that is these are the two questions more or less which i try to answer Do you need any more uh, reasons to be adduced, or any further uh, elaborations? Me, I we can we can make this available to you. The written uh, stuff. What is the next question, please? If there is any, Mr. Shaharani, you can go ahead. thank you uh, gana uh, during your tenure i think we had the the record low uh, interest rate as well as kind of excess money printing i mean do you think that you know those decisions or those strategies uh, also contributed to your advance resignation by any chance uh i don't think so but uh, this uh, was a period a very extraordinary kind of period affected by covid and uh, resulting lockdowns and things like that and then the disruption of our production activities and income flows of the people so naturally and also with the government having uh, reduced uh, revenues the central bank had to come in and provide the resources uh, to 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 look after the people and also to uh, attend to various problems coming up out of uh, uh, covid-19 that is the reason why uh, this excessive uh, money supply increase happened but uh, these things if we are careful and carefully plan these things can be easily reduced with uh, uh, with uh, the budget being attended to and carefully uh, developed to produce uh, not necessarily surpluses but at least reduce the budget deficits or fiscal consolidation as some of you call i don't think uh, these developments which you have mentioned had anything directly to do with my resignation but uh, i do not know whether uh, there was any indirect effect on it okay professor one more thing uh, there was a uh, uh, there was a you know there was a urge uh, from uh, even within the government to go you know, to seek imf assistance uh, to come out of uh, uh, the crisis we are facing uh, i mean it, from the central bank point of view and from your, your, your uh, from the from the institution you are heading what was uh, you know you have been contemplating on on that seeking imf assistance this is a question which have been uh, asked from us so many times in the past um, basically seeking imf uh, uh, assistance or not seeking imf assistance in the form of a program is basically the government's decision the central bank could advise one way or the other uh, so in our case in our thinking not necessarily all the central bankers but uh, uh, at least uh, among some uh, and also among uh, many policy makers uh, uh, policy making leaders in the government there was a belief that uh, we must try to get out of this debt trap by depending more and more on uh, income source income sources 
non-debt creating income sources from abroad. That is what has been tried occasionally when there is a need, short-term need for funds. We would go for uh, some, uh, some, some borrowing abroad, but to try and reduce borrowing as much as possible. Uh, so on that basis, the government may have decided not to go for a IMF uh, program. But it does not mean that uh, we have completely stopped any relationship with IMF. The relationship with IMF, uh, the engaging with IMF is going on. Thank you, Professor. And, and in fact, uh, uh, the next uh, uh, assessment or examination of Sri Lankan conditions uh, by the IMF, the so-called uh, uh, stand bearing, uh, going to be going to be done towards the end of this year. There will be a most probably if COVID permits. There will be a team of IMF uh, uh, officials visiting Sri Lanka. Thank you, Professor. Yes, uh, may I ask, uh, Professor, this is Amal Jaisinger from France Press AFP. Uh, you did mention that uh, things were made quite difficult for you in the last week and up to about 10 days. And uh, are you now actually, it, and it seems that you're actually now succumbing to that kind of pressure, but you're holding a position of governor, which is supposed to be an independent institution. So aren't you in a way, giving in to, uh, is it political pressure or is it something else? So your resignation, your premature retirement, as you say, uh, doesn't it amount to your succumbing to that pressure and actually undermining the authority of the position of governor? I don't think so, but I don't want to go into details of this, how this has happened. But uh, the, the unpleasant incidents uh, last week or last 10 days, I referred to the various newspaper reports without asking me a word, uh, without raising a, even a minor question from me. There were references to uh, W.D. Lakshman about various kinds of things. And that is what I said, uh, unpleasant things. Uh, of course, there were certain uh, political developments as well during that time. But I am not willing to go into details of this. But you, uh, Governor, but given your position, do you think that, uh, I mean, are we to take it that you also... Now let me take that uh, question in principle. Yeah. Uh, the central bank, uh, uh, independence of central bank. Uh, there are different perspectives about central banking in the world. There is this uh, independent central bank concept. Uh, the Sri Lankan authorities also tried to move towards that uh, during uh, some years ago. Uh, but that attempt has been given up because the Sri Lankan authorities are still happy with the original uh, extra formulation of the central bank for Sri Lanka. In any case, uh, Personally, I don't think that uh, a central bank in a country like ours can completely sever its uh, relationships with the government and uh, build up a completely independent uh, organization, an empire. So that is my personal view, but uh, what ought to be done on this subject is again, uh, decision of the government and the parliament. This requires development of a new bill, which uh, there was an attempt to do last during the last regime. It had gone uh, long distance towards uh, enactment, but uh, I think it had been given up by subsequent governments. If I, if I may just to follow up on that, Tom, the, uh, you, 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 at great length uh, explain some of the circumstances. Uh, but to summarize, could we say it's kind of a, 
uh, ideological difference or policy difference that actually led to your premature retirement? Um, there are ideological issues, uh, obviously, in any political uh, conflict or debate. So there would have been some ideological things, but uh, but the kind of uh, ide ideological divide I'm talking about did not come into this particular case. It is more related to persons. Personal issues. Thank you, Gabi. Mr. Riman, you can go ahead. Thank you. Um, hello, Governor. All the best in your uh, future endeavors. Um, I'm just uh, seeking clarification from one, something you said earlier. You said the uh, IMF standby discussions, is it standby or Article 4? And also, uh, in hindsight, uh, is there anything that uh, you uh, would have done differently now that after two years, when you look things back? And uh, is there something that you wanted to do that uh, you would not be able to do? Because I remember at the last press conference, you said that you had a plan to uh, uh, bring back the, whatever the rupee notes that uh, had gone out of the system. Uh, and if, if so, uh, what was that a plan that you wished to carry out and what was it that, uh, that you wanted to do? I don't know what you are. Uh, what you refer to as the last last time as something, uh, last, something last, press conference, last press conference sir, you said that uh, uh, there's a lot of uh, cash that has gone out of the system and that there was a plan to bring it back uh, but, uh, anyway in what sense or uh, what reference uh, I have mentioned that I do not know but uh, you are other question is what lessons I learned from uh, say thinking about my two-year experience or less than two-year experience. I think I'm just completing uh, that period of experience that uh, uh, maybe I have to sit down and examine my, uh, examine the developments that took place during this period and then, then only I can come up with some useful ideas in a discussion like this. But still, it is the experiences are rather uh, new. Uh, sir, about the word you used uh, for the IMF team that is coming, was it a standby arrangement or is it no, 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 Article no. 4? Article 4, Article 4. I uh, used the wrong word. Sorry. Thank you, sir. All the best. Thank you. Uh, Hi, uh, Governor, this is from Hero News. So uh, you did mention the fact that uh, there is a conspiracy or there is a difference between the uh, policy opinions between the government that hence is a reason for the country to be a developing nation over the years. And also regarding the decision that was taken uh, a couple of days back regarding the 100% lowest uh, line letter of credit having to be deposited, I think, uh, it would be a heavy burden on uh, especially the ground level people and the SMEs in the country, bringing the, uh, leading to a rise, a price rise, rise as well, and also putting the level of uh, economic standard and level of living at a stake. So what is your opinion regarding the policy that came up and uh, what is your aspect on it? The thing is, um, I suppose you are referring to the... Uh, Circular sent out yesterday or day before yesterday about uh, uh, the, the, the uh, LC margin issue. That is right. Yes, yes, Governor. Now, uh, the issue we try to address is uh, to bring some control. Uh, in respect of the increasing trade deficit that we could observe over the last few months, uh, while promoting exports as much as possible to various uh, uh, 
working groups and things like that, or task forces and things like that. We thought uh, there has to be some effort in restraining imports. Restraining imports has to be very carefully done because it can affect essential commodities as well as uh, essential intermediate products, which will which are going into exports themselves. So as a result, our uh, officials in economic research and various other departments have done a very careful study. And these studies have gone on for nearly uh, two or three months. And a lot of discussion. It is after that process, very extensive discussions, debates in the monetary board. Uh, it is after all this that uh, this decision was taken and the circular issue. Uh, we still believe that we believe that the items that are mentioned in this are really inessential or non urgent. If there are, of course, uh, uh, articles found in that list which will be of uh, a different nature, essential and essential for consumption as well as for production, then, of course. Uh, those articles can be removed. So this has to be a uh, changing kind of exercise, but the objective is to achieve the, uh, achieve the uh, restraint on the uh, the trade, trade deficit expansion. Uh, agreed, Governor, uh, but also uh, going a little further, a step ahead, but we know that uh, certain essential, so certain items mentioned are import imported items that small SME companies uh, use for their benefit, and we know the community, uh, the economy is not an independent economy. So we there is a lot of dependency that we have to depend on imports as well in order to sustain the SME companies and also the ground level. So as much as imports, there is a requirement uh, which we trust the imports needs to be restricted in uh, a more intellectual manner in order to uh, take care of the trade deficit. So in such case, uh, shouldn't it have been a lesser LOLC amount instead of 100% on top of uh, what is the current standard itself, on your opinion? No, it is. Uh, it would have been extremely difficult having uh, several ratios uh, operating at the same time. And in any case, uh, we have just uh, introduced this. Let us wait and see how it affects. I don't think uh, any single uh, producer had started complaining about uh, their production being affected by this. Let us uh, wait, and this is, uh, this is an instrument which the central bank has uh, used to restrain imports on many occasions in the past. Uh, so this is uh, less harmful than complete uh, quota-wise reduction of uh, imports because the, the, the volumes that are coming in are unlikely to be uh, directly uh, uh, stopped or directly reduced. Only thing is, uh, as if somebody wants these commodities really, there might be a little, there might be some increase in prices. Thank you, Governor. And also for the benefit of the signal community, could I kindly request you to uh, state both answers in signal as well? <laughs> oh. 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 Sima Kargani me, Vishala, Womanavak Tienua, Paugi Kale, Atama Paugi Masa Tune Vitra, Ape Apanaina Adayam, Sahana Dutta Vadu. No, the Itavara Vaging Vadu in Oana, you may prasna Visandagina. When under Sheshe, he Sai Haraha, Yanga Maginum Sheshe, he am see. Palanea Kathikarganim, Atavasha Karnak, Porta Peninoa, Mavan, Nisa, Api Masa Gananak Tisse, 
हतस्कला विनाशकला आय अथुला विविध 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 उत्साह प्रतिपत्ति क्रिया मार्गे कले तामी महाजन आठ हिरीहार कर निष्पादनाश वलट हिरीहार कर अत्यवश्य उत्तर प्रश्न वाक्य महाबैंक कृपया <laughs> जन्मदिने එතකොට මේ සම්බන්ධයෙන් යම් කිසි දේශපාලන බලපෑමක්ද රජයේ පාර්ශ්වයේ කියන ආණ්ඩුවේ පාර්ශ්වයෙන් තිබුණ දේශපාලන බලපෑමක්ද හේතු වුණේ මේ සිත් රිදවීම් ඇති වෙන්නට අම කැමති නැහැ ඒකට කෙලින්ම ප්‍රශ්න දෙන්න ප්‍රශ්නයට උත්තර දෙන්න යන්න මේ අහන හැමෝමත් ඔය ප්‍රශ්නට උත්තර දන්නවා ඒ නිසා ඔය මගේ කටින් යම් යම් දේවල් දැනගන්නට වෙන්නේ නැති අහන්නේ ඒක Did you favor a more aggressive depreciation, or were you comfortable with the with the way it was going? I'm just trying to understand was was whether that was one of the issues that hastened your retirement. You are raising the question about uh, depreciation of the rupee. Exactly. Exactly. Uh, That's correct. You are, if you are asking me for my opinion, yes. Uh, I personally. not in favor of continuous depreciation of a currency based on uh, our our own past experience and also based on the uh, studies my own studies of the historical experiences of other country now take for example countries in the they take for example japan uh, after the 
Second World War. The Japanese yen was uh, in terms of, uh, sorry, US dollar was in terms of Japanese yen, very high. Something, sometimes uh, it was around 350. But with, uh, with uh, exports growing, uh, there was a gradual, with the growth of the Japanese economy, there was a gradual strengthening of the yen, particularly after the so-called, uh, I forget the word, uh, so-called plaza accord. Similar things have happened in fast developing countries in the same part of the world. With the development, there, is, there has been gradual uh, appreciation of the rupee, uh, appreciation of the domestic currency. Now, take what has happened to Sri Lanka. You take conditions from, uh, if you have the patience to study uh, from the 1970s or 60s onwards, this uh, rapid depreciation of the currency started really in uh, 1977 with the 1977 liberalization. I am not trying to criticize liberalization process, but uh, this depreciation process started at that time. Every year from 1978 onwards, there was uh, depreciation of the rupee. There was uh, a very interesting statement which uh, Mr. J.R. Javadana made in a press conference held in uh, India, I think in the early 1980s or mid-1980s, earlier. He says like this, uh, uh, referring to uh, the IMF uh, advisors. As he's saying, they are telling me to devalue. I have, de de I have devalued the rupee from he gives the number which was there, which was the uh, 1978 uh, exchange rate. And then he referred to the 1980s exchange rate. He says, I have devalued from this to this. Now, they are further advising further deposits, but there is a time he says, uh, I should be telling them that's enough, that's it, no more. So, so it's a very interesting uh, uh, conversation uh, Mr. Javadana, Jaya Javadana had with uh, Indian, I think, journalists. Anyway, leaving that aside, uh, in 1978, I think our, uh, our uh, US dollar was uh, something like uh, I, I don't have the numbers, but something like eight, nine uh, rupees. Now consider what it is today, or what it was uh, in the uh, early 2000s, what it was in, say, 1990s. Gradually, every year, absolutely no change uh, in terms of, of course, short, short period of ups and downs, but when you take the trend, one after year after year, there was depreciation. What did we achieve from uh, depreciation? The economic theory tells us uh, depreciation helps this, helps that, and all. but nothing of that sort has happened. Uh, our uh, trade debts have continued to weaken. So I can go on uh, talking about it, but uh, my perception is that if we can, we must try and maintain a stable exchange rate, if we can. So to get that ability to do so, we have to uh, go on increasing our uh, foreign exchange uh, earnings, non debt foreign exchange earnings, and also in the process, improve our reserve position. So this uh, ideal policy framework we had difficulties in developing during the past uh, few months because of the problems, you know, exports were developing, but uh, imports were going faster. There were various speculative pressures on the rupee. Uh, 
So this is a complex matter uh, for which still the right answers are a little far away. Thank you very much. Uh, Professor, the, do you think that you could have used interest rates uh, a little more effectively to control imports rather than actually getting into some of these uh, monetary and fiscal restrictions? I am sure you guys have learned these subjects somewhere. And uh, why are you asking all these questions here? Uh, economic theory questions, effects on interest rates and effects on exchange rates, things like that. Uh, I would have uh, very happily gone on explaining these things if it was in one of my, for my, one of my students or group of my students. But you are all aware of it. Uh, we are also students, uh, <laughs> Anyway, I think uh, we have had enough. Uh, if you have... Governor, I have a question now. Uh, the, the imports uh, ban uh, were uh, uh, imposed uh, as early as, I think, December 2019. Uh, do you think there was a... Uh, there was a success of uh, the, that import but because we didn't see a significant uh, reduction in the import uh, if you see the, the data. I mean, is there any reasons for that, uh, Governor? We, uh, the import restrictions you are referring to, uh, the, the restrictions on motor cars. I mean, if we started from somewhere in December and there were more restrictions in March last year and now it's continuing. I think uh, at some stage during the period you are referring to, there was also some lessening or release of some of the controls. Uh, the COVID affected year, uh, there were somewhat, uh, somewhat uh, strong import controls, but uh, they were released because uh, in 2020, by 2021, the production processes were getting improved and uh, exports were uh, going up. So there was the demand and the need to relax some of these import restrictions. Uh, there are, of course, uh, different perspectives on this subject import controls and how that can be done and what would be its effects. So there are the, 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 some economists consider this a very bad thing, import controls. Others are not that pessimistic about import controls. One of the things we learn in textbooks is that uh, the direct controls are rather more effective than Indirect controls tried out through uh, various uh, uh, changes in taxes and thing, import duties and things like that. So this is a complicated uh, issue. Sham Nuan Ganevat also wants to ask me something. Maybe one more, one more, yeah, one more question. Uh, I'll, I'll stop with that. Uh, now you said that. You were anyway uh, to uh, retire next month, uh, but uh, if, we, if we see the last 10 days, what happened was uh, one former governor who is uh, state minister now uh, had been you know, speculated to uh, take over. And uh, uh, you know, he has been telling that he was likely and then he was to resign. You know, the, those are the, the, the stories published in the papers, but that's nothing to do with the media. It's basically coming from the government. Does that mean that government uh, indirectly asked you to resign uh, prematurely? Uh, I don't answer that question. I refuse to answer that question. Okay. Uh, no problem. Thank you. All the best. Yeah, thank you. Uh, Ganyavat is asking me. Uh, if 
ಪಿಲಿತ್ರು ನೋದೆರ ಪ್ರಶ್ನೆ ಹಾಕುವ ಪತ್ಕನ್ನು ಏನು ಆರಾಧನಾ ನಂತ ಏನು ಅಂಕಿವ್ಯ ಮಮ ಬಲಾಪ್ರವೃತ್ತಿನೋ ಆ ವಿವೇಕ ಗಾನ್ ಏಕಾಯಿ ಪಿಲಿತ್ರು ಆ ಕಟ್ಟಿರೋದು ಏನು ಮಿಟಿಕಿ ಗವನ ಗಾಂಗಹಿಯ uh just want to ask you your opinion uh, how do you see this current uh, uh, forex trade controls curbing uh, forex trade how that is going to impact uh, the dollar rupee and uh, don't you uh, aren't you worry about uh, that it is giving it is rising it is giving uh, fuel to rising the informal sector uh they are they are using all other ways uh, of bringing in foreign currency instead of using the formal sector for remittances so don't you think that it will further reduce uh, remittances into the country from on the formal sector no, there are there are problems like this i think um, i don't have any relevant uh, officials around me here uh you should uh, probably raise this issue when uh, uh, senior central bank officials from various departments are around i have my own uh, views but uh, now me moving out of the central bank uh, sometime next early next week uh, there is no point in my trying to answer some of these questions now i think there will be a discussion participated by central bank uh, officials uh, later very soon you can raise these issues uh, in such a meeting there are too many questions i i thank you governor and uh, are you hoping to have a uh, or will you will you uh, explain the reasons uh, in detail why you are resigning uh, later or any plans to make public uh, the decision now you can uh, make public the decision which i have given in my presentation the reason for the decision reason uh, i'll uh, give it a careful thought maybe if i uh, decide but to open up myself uh, I, i'll do that later there are some other questions uh, are you still following an anti imf policies are you ready to accept cbs self pension benefits after working only less than 2 years <laughs> uh, the first question anti imf policies uh, means to me i am a policies to me means uh, the various policies uh, the imf recommends in the program which we have seen in many countries which we have seen also in sri lanka i have my reservations about that program taken as a whole i st- i had reservation i continue to have reservation so this has to be discussed in the light uh, using actual numbers and i i am not prepared to do that now then uh, is pension benefits this has come up uh, i don't know unnecessarily in the newspapers uh there were there was a system like this in the central bank uh, i cannot remember when it was stopped but uh, for some reason it was stopped uh, in a particular year and after that there were uh, inquiries and requests and all that uh, to to reinitiate that uh, program uh, pension program now the 
the monetary board has considered this and has taken a decision. So this decision, let that decision be implemented. If that decision is being implemented, then if I am found to be eligible, they might pay me. I don't mind accepting it because uh, I am not a, I am not already a pensioner as I mentioned in my presentation. As uh, some of the uh, newspapers uh, alluded to. And also, uh, people must be uh, thinking of huge amounts in the form of these pensions for, the, for a governor. I recommend you make some inquiries about the, the salaries, uh, etc., uh, structures in the central bank. Another question is, what is the advice you would give to your replacement? What is the key step he can take to improve the matter? <laughs> if someone asks for my advice, I will definitely give. But uh, my policy is that when I move out of a particular organization, I don't meddle with it uh, uh, from outside. That has been my policy with the university, with also a uh, couple of other organizations where I have served. I am again. Apidano apita idrikale hi gewan nati na mudal ya. Namu tapi hari ada mudan ni na idri masa idri awud masa palo habis tulah apita koi taram bicara mudal pramanya katar galai. Apa naya na vali? Ilang ekta me remittances pegian ni me sami kian ni na. Mudah balik, ilang itu, apa nak kerja tu bila apa tourism sector ke equipment open kerana tu bang, ekeng kocchen mudah leh. Ini dalam taraf, oleh taraf mudah permainan, ayojen sanda, riju ayojen sanda, portfolio ayojen sanda, ini ada ni nyer kut prasna. Ini ini prasna. Tale gata bi mat sama. Amai hari akar, hita gan pukang, kau bi dia tu wisin ni, kau pramana tiir ni wan. Egin sa amai tera mek, petra kal me arbu de pauti de kini ka amar utr de. Tapi dekat kian lagi ya. Is Sri Lanka heading towards an economic crisis to a point of no return? Mata teri na mukad de, I don't know what you understand, Mr. Benedict, by point of no return. Countries do not undergo that kind of problem. Even a very weak country may have come to some crisis situation. And with uh, careful policy making, would have come up gradually. So there is, I can't think of any point of no return. There will be uh, a, a, a reversal of development under very carefully crafted policies. 
अवसान वशेन नोब तुम संधान करा देदास सत्र वास्ते महाभयंग वास्ते तांत्रिक सुंदा आराधना नगर देदास रे भगवान रूप सापेक्ष करें वास्तविक की नवस्था के देदास धाना में ही योगत पड़े ऐ के लाना में दम बार गाते दा बार करने तो उनकी वाले पे दा बार नगाते मांगे पाउड जलिकर तमत में वहीं तम ये बार गान बैरी भी दिए पाउड जलिक आराधनिया Uh, presentation to the people thank you